Friends of the Liberian Senate, I want to say thank you for coming uh, to at least say a word to the people of Montserrat County and Liberia Large. Let me clearly state I have listened to citizens of Montserrat County and uh, individuals who have concern uh, why the buses <coughs> are now on the street the buses that were brought by the grace of God uh, total number of 21 buses that are shipped into the country by the grace of God and uh, resources some of those resources to bring in those buses were loan I took from the bank collateral uh, from a salary as a senator of Montserrat County and uh, the buses have been running uh, on the daily basis, uh, we were able to uh, make sure we spoke to the drivers to reduce the prices up to uh, 50 Labrand dollars. For here, the Ganta was 300 or 400 Labrand dollars. For the past eight months, the buses haven't been serviced. And uh, as you speak, the reason you don't see some of the buses on the you don't see the buses on the street they are undergoing uh, a serious uh, uh, services and uh, we have also been working along with the university of liberia we had 10 buses that have been providing services for them for the past two years and uh recent uh, uh, students haven't seen the buses on the street going to the University of Liberia because they needed to go undergo the services. And then there are obligations that the University of Liberia should take responsibility of, that is the field and services. Uh, we're waiting that the University of Liberia will do that and uh, implement that in making sure that those buses are serviced. Uh, payment of fuel for the past semesters. Uh, the vendors also want make want the fuel to be paid for. Uh, well, what I do, I just wanted to give you some gist about the issue of the buses. But why did I why I call you for today? <clears throat> the screenage members of the press, I call you today to let you know that to make it clear. Uh, a senator of Montserrat County representing, one of the senators representing the higher population in the Republic of Liberia. Uh, I want to make it clear that the issue, the proposed tax amendment by the Ministry of Finance and the, uh, the Liberian Revenue Authority, the LRA, uh, the Volta Amendment Law that came to the Capitol. I listened to the finance minister. I listened to the family of LRA. They have expressed that the, the vote tax have been passed by law at the Labrin Senate. Let me make it clear that uh, during the passage of the budget, we raised issues and said we needed to understand and how does the tax amendment affect citizens of our country? What's the difference? How can you make a difference what would be the difference between the vote tax plus the gst to dial of the gst we want to know the consecutive difference so i want to make it clear that uh, the minister of finance i listened to him speaking to the former of the imf and they said that uh, the vote tax have been passed into law the lra is also saying that uh, that law has been passed I want to say it that uh, again today I raised the issue in plenary to make it clear that that particular law have never been passed or they haven't been passed at the, at the Capitol building. It passes at the House of Representatives and is here for concurrence. But as senators, I have said, and one of those that have said, we want our people to understand. I see no reason uh, putting additional burden on our citizens. They, have, they are already going through a lot of situations. There's no reason of uh, 
coming up with uh, additional issues. Let me, additional burden. Let me also make it clear that I'm disappointed that since the passage of the budget, the national budget, up to present, we haven't received a copy of the, of the, of the budget. We are presently into the second quarter of the budget. I see no reason we don't have copy of the national budget. Uh, why am I asking for the national budget, copy of it? Uh, I did make a follow-up after our advocacy at the Capitol here, uh, raising the issue of fire service. What was allotted to fire service by, the by both forces is $3 million. Let me make it clear, fire service received a communication from the Ministry of Finance that two million was allotted to them. That information is false and is misleading. The three million that was approved by the legislature, we believe that the fire service should receive that particular money. No one has the authority when the when budget passes at the capital and you go and do your deduction or remove uh, money from uh, those particular land that was captured. And uh, I also have in my possession the gender and the recording on the day of the passage of the budget. What it states, three million United States dollars, and uh, journalists that was here, uh, can, they, are, they can testify to that, that uh, it's three million dollars that was in the budget that was passed by law uh, during the passage of the budget, not two million. So the information sent by the Ministry of Finance to the uh, to Labrador Fire Service uh, I want them to immediately correct that information and make available the appropriation that were passed by law here at the Capitol in making sure that uh, the three millions will be received by National Fire Service, go through all of the formality through the procurement process and make sure that uh, fire trucks are provided in Mozzarella County and other counties as it was said in, in section. So. Uh, now the issue of fire have a little bit gone down because we are in the rainy season. The dry season is coming, we have to prepare ourselves for it. We believe those fire trucks and those fire service uh, training programs must be in readiness before the coming of uh, the dry season in the shortest possible time. Let me also say this, that I see no reason why the government is speaking and choosing. I also raised today, there are foreign service workers who are presently stranded. Some of them are on the street struggling. Even some of them cannot afford food to eat in strange land because they have remained representing the government of Liberia. But since uh, then, they have not been able to receive the salary and the allowances. So up to present, most of those Liberians are stranded in uh, those countries that they have been serving in. Up to now, they have not received salary. They haven't been able to uh, get stipends at the resort home have asked them also uh, of, of the apartments. So I want to make that clear that uh, I think I want to urge the government particularly the Ministry of Finance through the Foreign Ministry where I'm serving as co-chairman to immediately do all they can to make sure that those librarians that are stranded in providing, who are serving in our foreign service missions must immediately be given the benefits and the salary so that they can be able to survive. I think holding on to the salary and keeping them in a strange land uh, may lead to some of them doing things that would be wrong, that would not represent us as a country. Let me also say to you that uh, I have officially, uh, as uh, uh, Senator of Mosulado County and Chairman on, on the Committee on Transport, I've invited the family of uh, China Union, a recent term, um, while China Union train was flying uh, the, the corridor going to Freeport with Anya O's, unfortunately, there was an accident that led to 
one of our citizens in Montserrado County of female that she died in that process. She was a train kill her. So I think I'm expecting China Union since they are fully in operation now to set up the security points. They should be able to put a system in place where when the train is coming, they, there should be an alarm or individuals, there should be fixtures showing that a train is on the way coming. But leaving this way as it is, and our citizens have been for the past years uh, surviving from this, the local transportation called Mickey Ray. Unfortunately, uh, if you don't put a system in place, uh, those things will continue to happen. I think we are expecting China Union to put that in order. And we, <coughs> the, le the loss of a life of one of our citizens in Montserrat County, we take that very seriously. And we feel that China Union should answer questions to those things. So members of the press, I want to say thank you. And I decided to brief you on those issues that uh, I'm I have raised here and uh, in the past time. Uh, some of the issues have been captured on our AOB in the Senate's, on the Senate's agenda, and they will be discussed in full. So I want to say thank you, and I wait to have if you have any questions. So we take three questions. Samson yes, David. Uh, questions. Well, my name is Samson David, and I report for ERBC. Senator, you talked about foreign service workers being stranded. Wouldn't you mind giving your how many foreign service workers and which country? Well, uh, presently we have approximately up to 20 to 30 of them stranded who have not been receiving salaries, no stopping. Unfor the unfortunate situation is in the same foreign service mission, all of us are receiving salary, but all of us, though those ones are not receiving salary, one of the condition that they were sent there by the CDC-led government. I think it's wrong. These are Liberians. They should not be treated as such in strange land. They are our citizens. We should be care of, of our citizens, how they, they live. And I think they, they, they deserve a better. They have the right to live and work in any, in any government. So I think there shouldn't be a cause that because they were sent there by or the former ruling establishment, and today you're saying that uh, they cannot be paid. The information, I think, is wrong, and I think I'm urging the Minister of Finance, I'm urging through the Foreign Ministry to immediately uh, do all they can to make sure that they receive the, the, the benefit. Which country is Senegal? We have some of them in Senegal, some are in Africa, some in uh, Saudi Arabia, some in Dubai. Okay. okay. Senator, my name, is, my name is Antonio J. Fah. Thank you for the issue of the bosses that have been uh, uh, cries among many Liberians. Why is it that uh, in the common way we can see Sir Joseph? Mm -hmm. That have been uh, a, a very serious issue. Now that you said the bosses are undergoing serious servicing, how soon do we expect to see them? And uh, another thing is, uh, you talk about uh, the issue with China Union. When did that happen precisely in uh, what part of the area in Montserrat County? Uh, the part of Montserrat County is in the Crusoeville Belt, and uh, it happened about three weeks uh, now since the incident took place. Uh, normally, as senator of the county, on weekends, I take a tour of the county. And uh, on my usual tour during the weekends, I met the situation and I was told about the accident that took place uh, at, the, uh, at the cruise of the area. Uh, the issue of the buses, uh, how long? Um, it was unfortunate that eight months we were unable to service those buses. Uh, unfortunately, two of their engines got locked, and the mechanics are working, and the rest of them, they are undergoing major services. And uh, we, I working with our mechanic team to see what they can do. We understand the rainy season is very serious. We'll do all we can so that uh, we can continue to do, provide those normal services. But the best thing is that uh, let us service those buses and then we can get them on the street back. We can say on the shortest possible time, we'll do that. All right, Nelson. Yeah, so I'm Nelson Collier from Spoon. Um, 
you did mention the issue with the Liberian National Fire Service <clears throat> being one of the direct victims of uh, the fire outbreak in the country. Uh, you advocated for the three million that uh, was allocated from the legislature. Mm. Given what we hear right now, with the communication coming from the Ministry of, of, of Finance, telling the Liberian National Fire Service that they can only give them two million instead of the three million that's in the budget. Um, what do you think is the motive behind this? What have you gathered as maybe the reason why the Ministry of Finance is saying that they can give them the three million? And if nothing is done, if, if there's no action to address this issue, what will be your next course of action? I think you have the, the recording. Those of you, the journalists that was at the Capitol here during the passage of the budget, uh, $3 million was advocated for, and that amount was approved by the both horses. And uh, it was also announced during the reading of the final copy before the passage of the budget. It's $3 million. And uh, I don't know, I, don't, I will not preempt what the motive were or what the motive is. What I will say is that to urge the Ministry of Finance to remind them that uh, they can check the records. We have our records here. The total amount of three million United States dollars was appropriated to Labra National Fire Service to do to be to get them prepared to respond to fire activities in Liberia. Not just the fire service, uh, even the president of Liberia, uh, President uh, Joseph Boakai went to the airport, he did his assessment and everything, and uh, several million dollars were approved to make sure that the Labyrinth Airport uh, is feasible enough for flight to come to make sure that equipment, that the airport is well equipped. In the past time, we have been having issues. So several million was appropriated for that purpose. It was also rare in section and it was passed. Unfortunately, also, the Liberian Airport Authority is stating they were communicated to by the uh, Ministry of Finance is six million dollars. Why remove one million dollars from the Liberian Airport Authority? Why remove one million dollars from what was approved for the Liberian National Fire Service? So I think it's wrong. Are there other institutions aside from the two you well, just so made? far? And, uh, these are the two yet that I have information about. And we will continue to check. But this is why we are asking, where is the budget? Because we have the numbers here. We have the documents that indicate we were the passage of the budget. So I see no reason why those changes are taking place when the budget was read. And it will vote upon those numbers, those, those, those figures. There's no reason why it should be changed. So I think uh, I want to remind the Ministry of Finance to immediately take action on those things. The issue of the Labrin Airport, the, uh, the, the Labrin Airport, the RRI, is very important to the safety of our country and foreigners and our citizens. The issue of the Labrin Fire Service, that the government, that the legislature appropriated $3 million because the number of loss of lives and property that have happened in Liberia, and that money was put into that budget so that we can equip the fire service. In the past time, Everybody says fire service are playing checker or they're playing Lulu, but we want to change that story. This is why we communicated with our friends and our colleagues, and we want to say thank you to them again. It was approved, so no reason of removing a million dollars again from the three million dollars appropriated to the Liberian National Fire Service. Senator, any delay to ratify those deductions from these various entities? What next thing would you do? Well, uh, as is we have already uh number one we have requested for the budget the capital of the budget and uh we're going to uh we believe that the ministry of finance is going to do the rightful thing we are not going to give time around to say if you don't replace the money and that this is what's going to happen we are telling them the issue the reason of those appropriation because it's very important the issue of the airport is important the issue of the fire crisis in Liberia is very important so uh, we are urging them to take note of those issues that we have raised. The Labrain Plenary, Labrain Senate Plenary, those issues will also be discussed there as I uh, introduced them today on the floor.
Thank you. So Thank you. So much. Thank you. 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 Uh, there's a speculation that there's an uh, additional allocation made to the Lagrange Senate budget. Have you acquired any information? In well, I'm not aware of additional allocation made to the Lagrange Senate budget. Uh, this is why I'm asking for the budget, the national budget. We believe it should be open for you to see, and uh, we won't cap it immediately, and uh, we continue to request for that. I think it's wrong that uh, since the passage of the budget, uh, we are now in the second quarter, and uh, we can't get a copy of the budget. It's wrong. Uh, the issue of the value-added tax, uh, when the budget was read, it was also asked that we should pass the value-added tax. We said no. We want to know what do you mean by value-added tax? How does it affect our people? Well, whether this value-added tax situation will not be additional burden to our citizens. So we need to review that. Uh, presently, what we have been working on is the GST. But they are making comparison that all other countries in Africa have value-added tax. Ghana, Nigeria, the economy of Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, they are not with the same economy of that of Liberia. So we, it cannot be compared. So let me say this. Uh, I can say to you, uh, we, some of my, my colleagues have some of them have realized that, yeah, it is true that value-added tax has not been passed, and we believe that what, what should happen is that the, the information, the trickle-down inform of that information must be felt in all of the communities so that people will understand what do you mean by value-added tax, how will it affect people, or what difference it brings between GST and the value-added tax. You understand? So when the citizens understand exactly what the issues are, now, tomorrow, there will be no complaint. You can't just bring an issue and then you say that a woman pass it because we want to pass it. No. Anything that will affect the people of Liberia or the people of most of other countries negatively, I can assure you that I'm, I will now work in that interest. I will, I will now work along with that. This is why we bring you on the issue. People are already struggling. They are complaining relating to food and other things. There's no reason of coming up to add additional burden on them. If it is not additional burden on them, take the microphone, take the, 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 the team in the communities, in the counties. Let the people understand what it means by value-added tax. Why are you changing from GST to value-added tax? You understand? What difference it brings to the country? Not just about because you want to collect more taxes and then you bring in bread on the people. We're seeing what's happening to our to one of our country in Africa, in Kenya. You saw what happened there. So we don't want that to be the same scenario of that of Liberia. So we are going through, our citizens are going through a lot. The only way you will see or know these things, when you go into the community, you know what happened in there. So thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.